Heidi ho everybody so I took some footage when I put all this together and for the life of me I can't find it on my card so I guess I'm gonna have to just share the results anyhow because I wanted to share the results of an experiment I've been doing the last couple weeks with everybody I took seeds that were packed for this year 2021 seeds fresh this is a uh, butternut squash they're a heirloom seed uh, and this is my control group I packed wrapped them all I counted 20 seeds hopefully this hopefully I my yammering won't uh, confuse you guys anyhow I wrapped them all in a damp paper towel, put that in a Ziploc bag, and set them away on a shelf. Now this is the control group, and 16 of them germinated, okay, uh, 16 days, and wow, I got some pretty good results here. They grew quite a bit, just on their own seeds, okay. Now for the experimental part. Alright, so I took 20 seeds, wrapped them in this paper towel, damp paper towel, put them in a bag just like before from the same packet, but I freeze dried these first. And the idea is to find out if I get any different germination rates from freeze dried seeds. Uh, so far, for butternut squash, I got 14 that germinated. I know it looks the same as the control group, but uh, uh, trust me, they're different seeds, and it's an interesting outcome. All right, let's try something else. Okay, so this is my control group, non-freeze-dried. Uh, Blue Lake Bush Beans and they all did pretty well some of them let's see if I can find one of these little ones right there some of them were a little late to the party okay but I had 19 out of 20 that germinated and the germination rate is what I'm after Okay, now for the freeze-dried ones. It'll be interesting to count them. Okay, so these are the Blue Lake Bush Beans that I freeze-dried 20 seeds. Put in paper towel and bags. And some of them were latecomers to the party. But they did germinate, so I'm assuming they'll do well and maybe catch up with the others in pretty quick time. Or wood uh, obviously these weren't planted so they're not gonna produce anything but oddly enough all 20 of the freeze-dried bush beans germinated which is more I only had 19 of the control group that germinated fascinating okay so next up is a control group of black seeded Simpson lettuce. Same, same kind of thing. They were tough to count. They were tough to count out to begin with, and they're tough to count which how many germinated. But I think I have 16 lettuce plants that germinated here. So we're doing pretty good, but that's the control group. And I really didn't think the lettuce would germinate well because I put everything in these paper towels and in the bags and threw it on a shelf here in the house. And we keep the air conditioner, I think, 74 most of the time, which is a little warm for lettuce. Lettuce doesn't usually like to germinate unless the temperatures are quite a bit cooler. But there you go. There's a closer look at them. 16 out of the control group germinated. We're going to go with that number. 
Okay, so these are the Black Seeded Simpsons seeds, lettuce, that I freeze dried. And I freeze dried them, I think, on the 20th or something like that. I put everything in the bags on the 24th, so we're 16 days later. Oddly enough, I think I'm counting 19 of the freeze dried ones which germinated. It's uh, that's pretty fascinating. I really didn't think freeze drying garden seeds you would get as many as if you didn't freeze dry them, but here we are in a couple instances getting more. Okay, so here's a little side experiment. Uh, these are brown tepary beans. And since we're moving to uh, Arizona, uh, I thought this might be an interesting experiment. There's a supplier where you can buy garden seeds, but they're in very short supply and you can only buy a very limited supply of them. But I did find a place where you can buy brown tepary beans as food. And you can buy... Uh, I think it's a pound and a half of them for a pretty decent price. And uh, we cooked most of them up, but I saved some out and did my same thing with the paper towel and the plastic bag to see if you could buy the beans. And they're a, a native. They're uh, an heirloom seed. So they're going to grow, you know, if I planted these in the soil they would grow the beans and uh, these are the ones sold for food at a pound and a half in a bag and uh, they germinated pretty darn well too I didn't even bother tearing them all apart and counting them but uh, I just wanted to know if the ones sold for food would germinate and obviously they do these are a bean that was discovered outside of uh, Tucson, Arizona and they are the most drought tolerant dry bean in the world. So when we move to Arizona I'll be planting a lot of these. Okay so the results are fascinating. We had better germination rates on a couple of the items than uh, with the freeze-dried seeds than we did with the control group which was pretty astounding to me so bottom line to the bottom you know answer to the question can you I'm doing all this on my stove can you freeze-dry garden seeds and have them last and germinate till the next year. Then the next question is how to store them because I don't want to use oxygen absorbers uh, because the you know seeds are living things and they need oxygen to stay alive. Um, cool dark place I don't know no low humidity something like that all right uh, thanks for watching you guys and we will get through this